The sanctuary is flourishing. With each day that passes, with each rock and vine I tuck and mold into place, the cavern transforms. The preparations for these silent halls are nearly complete. Now, all that is left is to fill them with the footsteps of humanity. I never expected to find something like this. Never. After all the destruction, like buds bursting from the ashes of a forest fire, civilization, it seems, finds a way. The occupants aren't human, but they seem far more friendly than the patrol I spotted a few weeks ago. Though they didn't seem to approve of my attempts at conversation, and have some odd habits. But still, Harlow, a village, it isn't humanity, but it is opportunity. Hope. These people could be our allies in the future. And it seems their fingerprints lie scattered across the world. These villages survive without contact with others of their kind. If they could only connect with one another, their civilization could grow into something like ours once was. Imagine that, Harlow. Twin civilizations growing together. Ours reborn from the ashes of ruin, theirs taking the first stumbling steps into the light. Together, we could become something beautiful. The lands surrounding our home extend for miles in twisted spires and bountiful forests. I've taken to noting prime locations for building, places flat and wide and filled with potential. Places where I see the ghosts of towers and halls rising to the sky. Places nestled in corners and buried between trees so dense that smoke from a chimney might be lost between them. Places where waves wash and break upon the sand, and for an instant it seems the ripples falter and lull upon the hull of a vast ship. The things we will build, Harlow. A fresh start. A new civilization. Allium still grows in this place. What did you say about it again? It was a sensible flower. The way the tiny blooms coalesce to form an ordered whole. Much like the order itself. Much like humanity.
In my travels, I've discovered new remnants of humanity. Only horrors wander these underground halls now. The ground is choked with dust scattered with inhuman footprints. Yet the structures themselves still stand. Rails still line the stone. Carts still sit, filled with supplies, waiting for the ones who left them to return. Even after so long, there are still fragments of us scattered across the land. Pieces of us the undead could not corrupt, the Endermen could not dismantle. There are some things monsters can't destroy. I'd thought it was you, for a moment, the light from a torch I had not placed. But it was only the sputtering remnants of embers long ago dwindled to ash. You're only three days late. I should not get ahead of myself. I've made a banner for the sanctuary. Not all arriving will stand beneath the flag of the Order, after all. Civilians, children, people from all countries. I remember their faces as they huddled in the shelter the Order had provided them. I wonder if they will remember mine. I wanted a design that could belong to all of us, that could represent humanity itself. Our resilience, our fortitude, survival, hope. I think you'll like it. carved a room specifically for the Order within the rock. Here, we can continue our research into finding a cure for the undead, away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life within the sanctuary. We can place our histories within these walls, all of our research, everything we've learned about the plague and the Endermen. I miss hearing your theories, Harlow. I miss bouncing ideas off of you, spinning concepts and ruminations until dawn. I miss talking to anyone. Seeing anyone. I know you'll be here soon. You're only a week late. Surely any minute I'll hear footsteps walking down the stairs to the sanctuary. I've even added an extra space for beds in case more of you arrive than I expect. The sanctuary was built to expand, after all. And once I have extra hands, this place will grow until it can properly hold every single one of us.
the Endermen linger. They leave reminders of their presence scattered across the sanctuary. I can't keep them out. I keep my head bowed and they pass over me. It seems the instincts I've kept from the dark times are still coming in handy. I'd hoped to give you a place of safety, but though the skies have cleared, darkness still walks the earth. The fallout still lingers. I cannot promise a paradise. But I can promise that the Sanctuary will be a far better place than the one you've left behind. After all, the Endermen are weaker than they once were. They can no longer take you from this place, from this world. They can no longer take us from this realm. I don't know if the Gateway will bestow the same gifts upon you as it has on me. I can't assume that it will. I pray it doesn't. It makes things simpler in many ways. The stray arrows of skeletons and gaping mouths of the undead still fill me with dread, but the fear dwindles with each of my deaths. The pain of it lessens. I've plunged into the darkest caverns all for the sanctuary's sake. The shadows no longer seem so deep. The darkness beyond the pain no longer fills my nightmares. It allows me to be the perfect protector, the perfect architect to the sanctuary. But I am different than I was. Still human, but different. I wouldn't wish that for the rest of you. I've been given a gift, but if all of us are changed, I can't help but fear we'll lose something. The world will lose something. Could have killed them. They got far too close to the sanctuary for comfort. It would have been self-defense. Odds are they'll return. But these, can I call them people? They're intelligent, and though they aren't human, they don't seem to be monsters. I spared them. I hope I won't live to regret that. It's been two weeks since you were meant to arrive. 
I know this gateway is experimental. The calculations might just be off. After all, crossing a millennium is a feat never before thought possible. You're crossing a thousand years to join me. Even a single fluctuation in the gateway's energy could cause a delay of days. I'll keep the lights burning for you. A village lies not far from the sanctuary. A scholar lives there. A scribe. A record keeper. A historian. Though they are of little words, we share enough of a language that I was able to trade with them. A collection of their books now lines the walls of the sanctuary. Their records lie alongside ours. I still don't know what the villagers are. They appear to be related to those I saw in the patrol, but the two are not the same. After all, those in the patrol were hardly so friendly. of humanity lies below the waters. Pieces of us lie scattered to the winds. Yet no matter how many ruins I uncover, how many crumbling structures I stumble upon, they always lie empty. Empty of humans, at least. These ruins are the pieces to an ancient puzzle, one I am now a living relic of. But when you arrive, humanity will step out of history and walk again amongst these trees in this world in which we belong. After all, this land is our home, even if all living things have forgotten. Thank you. 
I've written an abbreviated history of the Order to make up for the records I lost in the Gateway. It isn't every detail, just what I could remember. Once you and the others arrive, you should be able to fill in the gaps. After all we've lost, losing our history itself would be unthinkable. Like losing our identity. You remember that decision I made with the patrol? Yeah, I regretted it. They know where the sanctuary is now. This is no longer a matter of personal safety. I have the sanctuary to think of. I have you to think of. I tracked them deep into the forests. Their footsteps were easy to follow along the coarse dirt. I need to send a message, one not easily forgotten. One that will ensure these patrols never again return to our doorstep. This is our land, our home, and I won't see another home of humanity destroyed.
you still haven't arrived. I can't rule out the possibility that you may have arrived somewhere else, outside of the Gateway's original endpoint. I'm leaving Meyer to guard the sanctuary while I search for you. Should you arrive while I'm gone, you'll have everything you need. I will not stop searching until I find you. My family.